Good morning and uh, today it's nice and sunny and uh, we're walking down the Windrush Way which joins the Cotswold Way here in Winchcombe with the Oxfordshire Way at Bolton on the water which is about 13 or 14 miles away. Should be a really nice day, very cold but uh, lovely and sunny. It's a high level route, not going through any villages apart from medieval ruined ones. So, come along with me on the Windrush Way. Bin men are out and uh, there's our first sign. Down here then, out towards the castle. Just walked past Sudley Castle and now into the home park area with the sheep grazing. And uh, we're gonna be walking up the Beesmore Brook Valley, also known as the Sudley Valley because of the castle. So I say it's a lovely morning, really cold, nice frost. Up there is uh, Bella's Nap. As I say we're following the Windrush Way and uh, this way was created by the Cotswold Voluntary Wardens back in the 1980s. They also created another route that goes from Borton and the Water to Winchcombe and uh, they called that the Warden's Way. It uh, passes through some of uh, the nice Cotswold villages between the two places. The Slaughters, Lower and Upper, Norton and Guiting Power. And then there's a lovely walk through Guiting Power Wood. And that's one that I plan to do next month. Right, let's carry on. As you can see, we're climbing out of the valley now. There's Winchcombe in the distance in the castle and down here is a wood called Spoonley Wood that I noticed when I was uh, looking at the route has a Roman villa in. Now I have been there quite a few years ago probably eight or nine years ago it was on a night hike and all I can remember was there was a pavement there I couldn't really see any of the walls or anything so I think I might do a I'm curious what's there video on uh, the Roman Villa in Spoonley Wood. But uh, we need to carry on up this track to the Salt Way. Turn right and then head down to Roll Gate. So we've made Roll Gate and uh, we need to turn left and go up here a little way. And then I'll be in unknown territory. I was just getting to the uh, extent of my uh, walking range when I walk from home. Well, uh, I've got a map, got my GPS, and uh, the route seems like it's uh, very well signposted. So um, I'm sure we won't get lost. We'll be fine. We're quite high up now, top of the escarpment. And uh, our destination is over there. Can you hear the skylarks? Distant rumble of traffic. We'll carry along this road until that telegraph pole, and then uh, we'll turn right. And uh, here we go, Windrush Way. Right, so I'm going to go down by the edge of this field oh, and uh, some kind souls put a nice seat there but I think I'll press on I've only done uh, probably about three miles and this looks like one of the tributaries that feed into the wind rush our first of the day it's beautiful I think we passed three. But that's uh, really peaceful. It'd be lovely in the summer to come up here. It really does feel like the Cotswolds now. Got the sheep that made us all the money for this area anyway. And uh, some wooded valleys down here. So we left the field of sheep. Now we're uh, walking down a nice Cotswold lane towards Hauling, which had a medieval settlement there and even today there is houses there. The uh, medieval village of Hauling is just the other side of that barbed wire fence. You can just see some mounds over there. There's uh, obviously not much to see. It's all under the ground now. 
this is an interesting little feature it's uh, some steps up to a platform and uh, you go up the steps you stand on the platform and then your groom brings your horse and you literally just uh, step onto it then so that's quite interesting past the hauling lodge they're just coming up to another tributary of the wind rush uh, ground nesting birds and small animals in the area so we need to look out for those that's a lovely spot fact, I might stop just enjoy the river for all those that enjoy my allotment videos uh, that's a really nice greenhouse there and uh, well, it looks like there's a pretty nice kitchen garden too we'll just uh, come up from the river walking towards those woods just walking up through the woods there's lots of uh, feeders for pheasants uh, well, there's a high chair there for spotting wildlife, probably deer and that sort of stuff. So, fairly well made. Right, I think we carry on up to the top. So we've made it about halfway now, just across the road, and uh, going up through the fields again now. There's a nice little walk in the woods. Right up that way I believe it's a wind rush way sign and uh, we're coming into Allworth uh, just going down this uh, little valley this is really nice and uh, the sound of autumn leaves are really turning now so that was Allworth not really much there apart from a big house and a few other little houses small hamlet I suppose um, also had a medieval uh, village here uh, which is up there on the hill somewhere but uh, we're going to carry on down we, uh, next to the river towards those woods uh, and I think I'll probably stop for my lunch there it's around nine miles I think that'll only leave me um, five to do this afternoon it's uh, quite an unusual gate got a plank of wood that goes across to here and you move that across there and then that allows it then to pull out and uh, that's that bit there and then when you come back again it shuts automatically that's great love that so dinner stops are just as important as wild camping leave no trace just crush grass right back on the trail we're going up that little hill towards the woods crossing another trip of tea uh, well water is nice and clear that's for sure little stone bridge I'm gonna wander down here down by the river these don't look very native some sort of longhorn cattle sure is a beautiful spot to do your farming River just so clear there. See the bottom, and then here we go. Then let's uh, carry on. Must be uh, really clean because uh, that looks like a watercress that's growing there. It does look clean, I must admit. It's lovely. rather nice just a little walk through the forest now with the uh, 
Windrush at the bottom in the valley. We've got a little while in the woods. Just back to cross the Windrush again. It's uh, filling out a little. Look at those uh, beech tree leaves. They're uh, gorgeous, aren't they? And uh, even better this side with the sun coming through them. It's very peaceful and nice. I'm sure boating on the water won't be this peaceful. Right, not too far now, a couple of miles. Here we go, the river wind rush as it goes under the main road, which is the Fossway, ancient Roman road now known as the A429 just cross the main road and uh, we're walking along by the river Windrush a bit more tame than it was when we were walking through the fields earlier it's a nice little backwater through the uh, mill house just been talking to the man interesting chap and uh, yeah so this is the first of uh, many little bridges that cross the wind rush at uh, Borton on the Water. Uh, very nice. Leave the river for a little while. There's a bit of uh, flood defences here. It's like raised bank. Just coming into Walton on the Water, it's a bit busy and uh, we're just making for the uh, War Memorial. The river. And uh, here's the War Memorial. That is the end of the Windrush Way. I hope you've enjoyed the walk I have. If you have, please subscribe, like, hit the bell, and you'll get a notification of any new videos I upload. And I'll see you soon.